Starlink now works with your iPhone. How does it work and is it safe to use? Before we get into this feature and what it means, if you want to know more Apple news, consider smashing that subscribe button. The recent iOS 18.3 update contained a number of new features for iPhone users. We saw new Unity wallpapers, improvements to visual intelligence to recognize plants and animals, and plenty of bug fixes. If you want to learn more about that update, I did a whole dedicated video on that that I've linked here. But there was one change in this update that got a fair bit of attention. Support for Starlink satellites. I did a short on this at the launch, but there's been a lot of misinformation spreading about this. So let's talk about this feature, how it works, whether it's safe to update your phone, and how to disable it if you don't want to use it. Starting out with what this even means. Essentially, for select users, they can rely on Starlink satellites when outside of cellular range. Those satellites connect via the band 25 1900 mHz spectrum, which is supported on iPhone. The way this works differs from Apple's existing satellite support, which we've seen for a while. Satellite support works on iPhone 14, iPhone 15, and iPhone 16, all of the models. Apple offers both emergency SOS via satellite, useful when off the grid and you have a problem, including just roadside assistance, and messages via satellite for just sending messages. These all use that satellite connectivity when outside of cell connection to send limited text or receive assistance. It works well with a big caveat you must be in visible range of the satellite. Did you know, to fix the camera control, it can cost up to $749 if you go through Apple. We'll come back to that. For a long time viewers of the channel, you remember me talking about my sponsor ESR and their latest iPhone 16 cases. Starting just with the classic, this is your traditional clear case. Well now, they've updated those cases with a pretty important new feature. Now they have full coverage of the camera control. It's made of 9H hardened glass, which makes it super smooth and retains all the functionality, such as light presses and swipes. Compared to others, they've also managed to make it basically seamless, meaning no dust can get in around the edges to hamper the case or damage the button below. There are only a few cases out there that offer protection for the camera control on the iPhone 16 line. With Apple charging literally up to $749, it's probably a good idea to protect it. And of course, they have the same protection as before and the same adjustable metal stash stand built into the camera guard that even works with MagSafe accessories at the same time. If you want to try the ESR Halo Lock Classic Hybrid Case with cover for the camera control, I put a link in the description. Apple says you must have a clear view of the sky and horizon but hills, mountains, trees, and other foliage can interfere or slow it down. Apple partnered with GlobalStar for its satellite feature, which was founded in part by Qualcomm and is now owned 20% by Apple itself. But again, you have to actually hold your iPhone towards the sky without anything blocking your view for the satellite to connect and work. Not exactly convenient, but still comes in clutch in an emergency. So how does Starlink differ? The biggest way is that there are a lot more Starlink satellites than in Global Star ones. This allows a bit more freedom when connecting along with the other differences. As in, you can leave your phone in your pocket and you can still receive text via satellite. Your iPhone automatically switches to this when cell range is gone, keeping you connected. That's already more convenient than the emergency-centric offerings Apple directly touts. Right now, this Starlink satellite connectivity is for sending messages, though it is reportedly set to expand to phone calls and data in the future. And that could be huge. When in use, it will say SAT at the top of your phone, so you will know when it's being used. And now, to be clear, Apple did not partner with Starlink here. Rather, this is a partnership between T-Mobile and Starlink. This first was rolling out with Samsung devices and then surprisingly added iPhones. Apple didn't even mention this in the release notes to iOS 18.3 because it isn't really a new iPhone feature, but a T-Mobile network feature. At the moment, this feature is limited to US-based T-Mobile users who have been accepted into the beta. So it's not available on all iPhones. 
Heck, it's not even available on all T-Mobile iPhones yet. If you got a chance to try this though, drop me a line in the comments because I'd love to know how reliable it was for you. And look, I'm not going to get into Elon Musk. Whether you like him, hate him, or indifferent, it's really besides the point. iOS 18.3 merely added support for the latest T-Mobile network update, and there is zero reason not to update. There's a lot of bug fixes, so even if you don't plan on using a Starlink support, you should still update your phone. That said, there is a way to disable this feature if you'd prefer. Visit Settings, Cellular, T-Mobile in this case, and turn off Satellite. If you do end up in some sort of trouble and Apple's Global Star Satellites won't work for you for whatever reason, you can always re-enable this down the line. I'm willing to bet we'll see more of these partnerships in the future. Satellite connectivity is just starting to kind of take off, but Starlink is definitely a big partner for T-Mobile. Hopefully that clears some things up in this video. No, Apple did not partner with Elon. Apple didn't partner with Starlink. It's perfectly safe to use as much as you trust any other ISP. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Keep it civil. Be sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you all next time.